Hey guys, what's going on? Um, this is October EMP here. I just wanted to make a quick video um, to show you guys how to speed up your iPhone a little bit. And this is for jailbroken iPhones. Because, you know, if you don't have a jailbroken iPhone, I doubt that, I doubt that your uh, iPhone is <laughs> slow. Um, but the thing is, once you jailbreak your iPhone, you know, even though you, you pretty much make it, you know, ten times the phone, what you also do is you open it up to a lot of um, I don't know what the right word to call this is, but pretty much you make it into a computer, uh, you know, it's a target now, you know what I mean, you're downloading things from people that you don't know, they're not approved by Apple, um, most of these things got, most of these applications that you find in Cydia are rejects from the iTunes store, and I, I don't say rejects negatively, I say rejects because Apple doesn't want people really competing with what they've already created. So, um, you don't really know what you're downloading all the time. Some of the stuff is gonna ha has, you know, extra files that you, uh, don't need and stuff like that that you never really know that you download because all you see is the title of what you're downloading in the description. You don't see every single file that's also downloading. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you how to speed up your, your jailbroken iPhone a little bit and hopefully this will help you. Um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get rid of any crazy theme you have. Um, you're gonna like it for a while, and you're gonna, you know, want to show it off to your friends, and that's cool. That I was the same way for a while, but the fact is that you're gonna get sick of it because you're gonna realize that that theme is taking away performance, and quite a bit. Um, I had, in Winterboard, I had tons and tons of themes that I did not need, so I went through Cydia, deleted all the themes that I didn't use anymore, um, went into the sources, went through my sources, made sure that I didn't have any um, anything downloaded from some sources and got rid of those sources. So do not down, do not delete a source that um, you uh, that you've downloaded something from previously. Unless you want to re-download it from a source that you know you're going to keep, don't do that because it will delete the application or tweak or whatever. Um, the next thing that you're going to want to do is go through anything in Cydia that you don't use anymore, that, that you haven't seen yourself using, or that you find unnecessary. Um, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these files, like I said, download other, um, packages along with them. And I'm gonna give you an example of what I mean. A couple, like, about a week ago, I, um, decided I was gonna do this. Decided that I was gonna go, go to my phone and delete everything that I didn't need anymore. And, um, when you download something from Cydia, on the top it tells you how many files you have downloaded onto your iPhone. I had almost 30,000 files downloaded onto my phone. So... By the time today um, today came, uh, I downloaded a package today, and it said that I had 17,000 files on my phone. So I literally almost cut the amount of files that I had in half just by deleting a bunch of my um, downloads from Cydia, which sped up my phone a lot. Um, so that's the first thing you want to do. Go through Cydia, get rid of anything you don't need anymore. second thing that you're going to want to do is download a tweak from um, podulo.com repo. Um, that is called Supercharge, and what this does is it gives you something back that you lost when you jailbroke your iPhone. I'm not really sure exactly what it is, I'm not that um, into the technology part of the iPhone, as down deep as that goes, but I know for a fact that it will speed up your phone because it sped up mine quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it does, it, it tries to explain it to you in the package, and you can read it and try to explain, you know, try to figure it out on your own, but all I'm going to tell you is that it does speed it up and it won't hurt your phone. And the next thing that you're going to want to download, if you don't have SB settings or you don't plan on getting SB settings, download some kind of process killer. Um, and I'll show you real quick one that I have downloaded. It's, um... this right here, memory tool up on the bottom right next to TV Guide in the UFC. Um, what that does is you open that up and uh, some Chinese little writing comes up and then that comes up. And then what you do is you press clean down there and once you press clean you press OK, you press that and then it, it helps it removes some of the processes from your uh, 
um, from your springboard and that your phone is running and speeds your phone up and convinces it that it just booted up again. And that is a good application that I used a lot before that I got rid of every other thing. And I, I, I really um, saw that it really didn't work as well as you would think it did when you had so much stuff on your phone. When you get your phone to how you really want it, um, you know, the minimum of everything you need, that you feel you need to have, um, once you use that, it really does speed up your phone a lot. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the third thing that you really need to get. So you just need to get rid of everything that you don't need. Download that supercharge program if you want. You don't need to download that, but it will give you a little bit of a boost. Um, and the third thing you want to do is either use the processes in the SP settings or download a process killer from Cydia that will help you um, um, just, you know, get, get and running programs on your iPhone that you don't need. So yeah, those are the three things that I really suggest that you do to speed up your phone. I know that they will help you if you do them correctly. Um, you know, you're not if you just if you just download the memory system, um, the process killer and supercharge, it's not going to speed up your phone as much as you want. Especially if you have a crazy theme and a bunch of add-ons and stuff like that. You guys need to get rid of everything that you don't use in Cydia. It is really going to kill the phone of your jailbroken iPhone. So, yep, that's really all I got to say. Um, I hope that this helps has helped you guys. You've probably heard videos of people saying the same thing, but I just want to get it, get it out. Um, so, you know, everybody that doesn't jailbreak their iPhone can't say to you, well, my, my phone works 100%. Your phone crashes all the time, and your phone does this, and your phone does that. Well, no, if you, if you really get rid of everything you don't need, your phone will work just as well as anybody who hasn't jailbroken theirs. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say. I uh, hope this has been informational. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Later.